All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about furniture. Um, in another video, we talked about rules and the importance of rules. For dogs, the higher they sit, the more rank or social status they have. If you let a dog sit at the same height as you, i.e. Let it, let it sit on the furniture, it can very easily can get confused in thinking that it has the same authority than you do. So my rule is when I have a puppy, I let the puppy on the furniture until it can get on the furniture on its own. At that point, I stop allowing on the furniture. You're gonna have the rest of your dog's life to give it the access to the furniture later. Um, Ironically, uh, Luca's guardian's parents think that she is mean to him because she, they make her sit, uh, make Luca sit before it uh, gets petted or uh, do different things like those like to earn rewards. That's a wonderful way to your, help your puppy have really good uh, values and see the thing that it needs to earn something. And just like humans, if the puppy earns something by through an action, it feels better about itself. I love to get a, win a lottery, but if I earn the money, I'm gonna feel much better about myself. So um, now if your dog is on the furniture, we wanna teach them to get off, you can give them the elevator ride or you can shove them off. I don't like doing either one of those. So we're gonna go ahead and back the camera up a little bit. I'm gonna show you just a simple off command. So what I do is I let the dog see that I have a treat. Uh, we wanna not have him jump off first, there we go. So he's, let's say he's just relaxing on the couch so there's more room because this is at a dog facility we don't have a couch here. So he's relaxed, so what I do is I toss it down, off. That's as simple as it is. At that point, then, I, if, I, if I want to keep them off the furniture, a lot of times I use what are called X mats, which is just the letter X and M-A-T-S, little uh, plastic things we can put on the, the furniture and it'll keep the dogs off the furniture. Um, now, the dog bed here, and this, this is primarily the purpose of this video, is to teach you how to get your dog to go to a dog bed on command. Think of a fun word for the dog bed. In this one, we're gonna call it bench uh, for now because the guardian, uh, his guardian is in law school. Uh, but come up with a word that's funny that's related to what you do for a living. I have a guy that works in real estate, he calls his dog bed condo. Another one calls it palace. Um, so something that's funny like that will help. And if it's just by you, by yourself, put a little post-it note above the wall, right above the dog bed so that the puppy, uh, Luca, puppy, 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 so that the dog, uh, it gives you a visual reminder. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is look up, I'm gonna let him see me throw a treat there. And I'm gonna say bench, and I'm gonna let him leave. And as soon as he does that again, I'm gonna toss another one. Bench, and then I'm gonna leave. let him leave. So I do this with about 10 treats, bench. Now for the, uh, the dog bed itself, make sure that you get a light colored dog bed. Light, uh, white, light cream, bench, or a light gray about the shade of my pants. Dogs are colorblind. Everything is in a blue, gray, green for them. And so if you get a, uh, one that has a dark color, that bench, the uh, treat might not stand out. And they, we want them to be able to see it. Also make sure there's no pattern on it. And I prefer the ones that are more like a sofa cushion, uh, the ones that kind of look like a duvet cover or like a mattress, because sometimes you get a treat that uh, falls between the crevices and you won't be able to see it. Look up. Bench, bench. So the first way I do this, I do this in three different ways in two different capacities. The first one is what I'm doing here, bench. Make sure the dog bed is big enough for him to have to, and they have to step on it before you do it. And you throw it, and if I was off the dog bed, don't say it. Bench. The second way I do it is I put him, in, I bring him over to it, put him into an SAT and say bench, or I put him into a down and say bench. Uh, the third way that I do it, Luca, is I leave a treat there, make sure that it's right in the middle. Well, there he saw me. But the idea is you leave one there when he's away from the uh, dog bed. And he just walks over, wow, there's a treat here. Every time I go away, there's a treat. I should just hang out here. Now, the place I like to put this is right underneath your TV. Because the dog's like, oh my god, look at it. Look. They're all just looking at me all day long. We're really just watching the TV overhead. So it's, it's a nice out of the way place to do. And if you're going to take away the furniture, giving your dog an appropriate dog bed is really helpful. Look up. Puppy, puppy, puppy. So the first way we do it is, like I said, the three different capacities we toss, we lure onto, bench, or we leave a treat. The third way we do it is if the dog, when the dog goes there, or the second capacity, I should say, is when the dog goes there on its own volition. Let's say that Luca just walked up and there wasn't a dog treat there. And he just walks up, then I throw a treat after he goes there. So at first is to motivate him to go there, after a while it comes to reward him for going there. Now, it's best if you can say the command word after he gets in the street. So right there, I toss one, he didn't see it. And after you do about 10 treats, the dog's gonna start checking it out. Now he knows the treats come from my hand, which is why he's looking at my hands. I'm gonna try to wait him out and see if he'll look over there. Now if you do this 10 treats, I usually do this about three times a day with 10 treats, and after a while they start looking at the dog bed and just 
just checking it out. Bench, just like that. So um, after a while, your dog will just start hanging out here. And if it does that, if you don't have a treat, just say the word bench or go over bench. Or if he doesn't as only have a treat, ideally throw the treat bench. Now one of the things, uh, little tips you might want to do, get a little plastic ramekin that has a cover and put some of the treats in and put it next to the, uh, the table that's, or that's next to your couch in your living room. So if he goes over there, you can reach over there quietly, open it up, toss a treat on there and give it to him. But after a while, the dog just likes hanging out there and it makes it uh, for much better furniture because you don't have dog hair everywhere. Luca, Luca, puppy, puppy, puppy. Well, this is my buddy Luca, and these are tips and tricks on how you can teach your dog to like to go to the dog bed.